the ride that had everybody talking. And what's next for Very Elegant? And I saw a two-year-old that has the makings of a Group 1 horse. This is Performance Review with The Boss. Nash's ride in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes was simply breathtaking. He took that race by the scruff of the neck and he did something so daring that we haven't seen for a long, long time. He had a thought in his mind that the outside was quicker, and it definitely was. After walking the track, and then when he's going out on Think It Over, he felt the track was a little bit quicker. And he had it in the back of his mind that if he could get into controlling position, he would use that tactic to his advantage. And didn't he do it to perfection? I love the way he went out there and just controlled this race from the get-go, put himself in the race. He knew that Zaki was the horse to beat, and then he just peeled off Zaki's back. When he got out there, it was like he got on a travelator. He made up three lengths really quickly, and that was the difference between winning and losing. Hats off to you, Nash. That was simply superb. Let's talk about Very Elegant. Chris Waller and Connections have got a big week in front of them. They've got to sit down and think about where they go with her. She looked well below her best in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. For mine, to go overseas and run in a race like the Arc de Triomphe, you should be winning that race by four or five lengths and really going through the line and have something left in the tank because you need to go over there and compete on the world stage. The trip to the Arc de Triomphe should definitely be off. D Oliver, Damien Oliver. What can I say about this champion? He is now the official GOAT. 127 Group 1 wins. That is spectacular. He's won three Melbourne Cups over three different decades. He has continued to be at the top of the tree for all his life. This is something that is so rare. I love him. That's why he's the GOAT. D Oliver, you are a champion, mate. Brendan of Dollar, on Hinged in the Oaks. Did you get this one wrong? I think you did. In my opinion, I think you should have been outside the leader or even leading in this sedately run race. At the 600 metre mark, when you lost ground there, when the speed came on, I think you should have been outside the leader and you would have been able to go through your gears and just keep getting to the line stronger and stronger. But Brenton, don't worry about it too much, mate. I got it wrong as well and I get plenty wrong. I tipped it to win the binary and I tipped it to win the oaks and I got that wrong. My horse to follow is a colt called Natuno, a two-year-old by I'm Invincible, trained by Tony Golan. He's had two for two and he's won by big margins already. He's got a Group 1 action and I'm pretty confident as a three-year-old we'll see him running in Group 1 races. 